it's not because it's a book. It's, I know. Sorry, sir. One second. God has God spoken to you? Through his word, he has spoken to me. And he's also spoken to me in the revelation that you use every single day to live your life. The revelation is you uphold tr you uphold to a moral standard, an absolute standard of morality. You don't know my life? You don't know that? Ma'am, is it wrong to rape a child? Yes or no? You don't know what standards I have. You're just assuming. Ma'am, is it wrong to rape a, st a child? Yes or no? Is it wrong? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, thank you. You're living to an absolute moral standard. The only way you can have an absolute moral standard is because you know the God that exists. Yeah. That's all I need is one question. See, and, and you you believe two plus two is four, right? I bet you masturbate and shoot your unborn children all over the trash. So first, not only not only not only does that expose the condition of your wicked heart, ma'am. Ma'am, not only does that expose the condition of your wicked heart, but number two, you don't understand science because that's not life. Life is life is two things that come together, ma'am. Oh, I'm blocking your constitutional right. You're making ma'am. You're 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 scientifically inconsistent with what you just said. You realize that, right? Not only that, but it exposes the condition of your heart, and that's the reason I'm here, is so that you can have your sins forgiven. If you die in your sin, you're on your way to hell. But if you put your faith in Christ, you can be forgiven of your sin. A miscarriage? Are you gonna pick up that? No, that was God's decree. We live in a fallen world. I would expect something like that to happen. But what I wouldn't expect is that for people to want to kill their own child when it's a, when it's in the womb. What? That's what that's ridiculous. What if, you're raped? what if you're raped? Why would you kill the baby for the crime of the father? That makes no sense. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am. Genetically, it's not going to work out. Well, then it doesn't work out, and that's God's decree because we live in a fallen world, and wickedness like that would happen. But you can't make an argument for the crime of the father to murder the child. If I rob a bank, they're not going to come and arrest my son or my daughter. They're going to arrest me. See, you got to stay consistent in your worldview, ma'am. Have you taken a science class or a sex education? Well, I, I, I apparently already know more because you're the one who said life is in the sperm, which isn't true. You need both the egg and the sperm to make life. Life begins at conception, ma'am, not in the sperm and not in the egg. You need both of them to get them together. So unless you actually do know that from a scientific but perspective, not, that's exactly what God says too in His Word. It's not a fetus, man. Why are you use, Why are you speaking Latin? Why don't you speak English? Why are you speaking Latin? In your body are the same type of cells that divide. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because in your egg and in your sperm, it's your own DNA. In the life and conception. A woman should have a choice to do what she wants with her body. Amen. I, I love women's rights. That's why you shouldn't kill the women in the womb. That's right. What women? Thank you. And if it's the women man, in the womb. If it's a man, what happens? You shouldn't kill the man in the womb either. You should, kill you should let you life should live. Me either. You should kill, kill, You should let you life kill. live. Not anyone in the womb. Yes, it is, ma'am. Yeah. So you need to do your. You need, you need to read the Bible, why and then you need to do scientific her? research and you find out. No idea what you're talking about. Yes, I do, ma'am. Well, then you can go pick up a science journal and figure it out for yourself, or you can pick up the Word of God, which obviously you can't get science without God. So, yep, yep. See, all that does is expose the condition of the people's hearts. It doesn't surprise me that people would talk like that, act like that, do those things. It's because their hearts are wicked, and that's exactly what the Bible says. I'm here preaching the Bible. I'm not preaching my own opinion. I'm telling you what the Word of God says so that in hopes that you would see your need for forgiveness. This is the wickedness that you see in society. This is what happens, and my hope is that you would realize that, see your need because you're not better than that person who just did that. You're in the same predicament as him. If you die outside of Christ, you're going to end up before God, and you're going to be found guilty of your sin. Repent of your sin and put your faith in Jesus Christ. I'm not a, I'm not a good person. I'm not a good person. I'm a forgiven sinner. That's why I come out, because I want you guys to be forgiven too. I love you guys with what the Word of God says. No, I know, but the God is not, ma'am. God is not okay with what you do. You're, yes, and your God is yourself, and it's called, that's called idolatry. And that's a sin against the God that you know. The reason that you make your own God in your mind is to quiet the conscience in yourself. You're okay with yourself. Your, your God is okay with you. That's exactly what I just said. You're an idolater. You're making up a God in your own mind rather than the God of the Bible who says you're a sinner and you're in need of forgiveness. You're a slave to your sin just like I was. Everyone here is a slave. You're either a slave to your sin or you're a slave to Jesus Christ. My hope is that you would have your sins forgiven, friend. Put your faith in Christ alone. 
I know. I, yeah, if they come over, they're a little louder, so I'll lose my voice sooner. I, I, I'll talk to the Harry Christians. I talked about them already. Hi, friends. You need to repent. Put your faith in Jesus Christ and Christ alone. Harry Krishna will lead you to hell, friends. Your, your loving kindness is being seen as hatred, friends. It's being seen as hatred. You're lying to people. You're telling what, what they want to hear, which is a lie. It's, it's the same thing that the devil does. He comes to deceive and destroy, to seek who he can devour. That's exactly your message, friend. Put your faith in Christ and Christ alone. It's not just love. But love warns. Love warns people. Talk about why? Because it's the word of God and what it says. People make up a God in their own mind to suit their conscience. It's just what those other two ladies did. Okay? It's not because of what I say. Don't believe me. Pick up the word of God and read it for yourself. This is true. Let every man be a liar, but God is true. Okay? This is the word of God and it can set you free. Yes, sir. What was your name, by the way? I didn't catch it. Nathan. Nathan? I need to go. But okay. Hey, no matter our differences, hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, I appreciate you uh, trying to hold down the fort a bit. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. You see, friends, I care for your soul. That's why.